Welcome to the Be Ready Buzz. One of the first things you need to do after an earthquake or tornado or any other incident that could affect the structural integrity of your home is to check for natural gas leaks. Only use a flashlight or a glow stick to check in the dark. Don't turn on a light switch and certainly don't light a flame. If there is a possibility of a leak, search around gas appliances like the furnace, the water heater, clothes dryer, and stove for broken gas pipes. Listen for the sound of escaping gas and smell for the odor of natural gas. If you see, hear, or smell gas, immediately get everyone out of the house. Open doors to ventilate the gas as you go. Then call 911 from outside your home and a safe distance away. If you can safely do it, shut off the gas to your home from the outside gas meter. Teach everyone how, where, and when to quickly shut off the gas. Seconds could matter. Keep a shut off tool or an adjustable wrench near the gas meter. When the valve is in line with the pipe, the gas is on. To shut it off, turn the valve a quarter turn so that it's perpendicular to the pipe. Now it's off. Remember, after an earthquake, only shut off the gas if there's a leak, structural damage to your home, or a fire, not just because the ground shook. A qualified professional needs to come and turn the gas back on. And depending on the emergency, that could take several days or weeks. Not a good idea if you're depending on gas to heat your home in the winter. And a final note, only shut off the gas if you can do so safely. If not, move everyone away and wait for the emergency responders. Now, prepare and share what you learned about natural gas in your home with someone you care about. Thanks for joining us on the Be Ready Buzz.